Hey everybody, it's Kendra. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. My video today is a haul video. I haven't done a haul in ages, but this is a really, really exciting haul because my husband just went to France for two weeks to visit his family and friends. So he was given a very specific list of goodies to bring back from France for me. Um, so we did get some beauty stuff. He got some clothing. He got me tons of tea because my favorite tea store is in Paris. Um, and then he got me a few surprises. So it's not really like a beauty style haul. It's not like, oh my God, I bought this and this and this and this and this. I didn't get a lot of beauty stuff. It's more like lifestyle, food, clothing sort of stuff. But I thought it would be fun because you know, like these aren't always the products you can buy in the US. Anywho, let's begin. So first, for the beauty stuff, I did have a couple specific requests for beauty stuff. The first, I told him to get me two things of the Aven Hydrance Optimal uh, Light Hydrating Cream with SPF 20. So it comes in these boxes like so. This is basically the uh, sun cream I use, well, moisturizer with SPF I use. Looks like this. This is for sensitive mixed, um, mixed skin and it's light, so it's better for oily skin girls like myself. So I got two of those. Um, I also did have him search for a Nivea sun cream, like a body sun tan lotion sunscreen, but they did not have any of their sun creams available in Paris yet, but that's okay. I really love this one sun cream just for the scent. It smells, it's got this whole carrot thing going on. I've definitely talked about it on here before. I love this stuff, but I was very sad I couldn't get it. Anyway, okay, so we got the sun cream and then I also got three lip colors from Bourgeois. So this is the new Rouge Edition Souffle de Velvet. So this is very similar to the Rouge Edition Velvet lipsticks that came out maybe two or three years ago, but those ones are much more opaque. These are matte, but they're more transparent. So I have three shades and I've actually already swatched them. So the first one is this red one and this is called Cocolico. And then the second one is this pink shade and it is called Fuchsia Mallow. And then the third one I actually have on my lips and it's sort of like a peachy, pinky kind of color and it's called Ravi on Rose. So we have them there, that's the red, that's the pink and that's kind of the corally color. Um, so yeah, I will definitely be doing a yay or nay on these because I love bourgeois lip colors, but you know, they're all different. We have to discuss them all in depth. One thing with the scent, um, it has a similar scent to the Rouge Edition Velvets. It's not as bizarre. The Rouge Edition Velvets have this really, really weird scent. A lot of people commented on that on my video a couple years ago. Some people said it smelled like blood. Other people, I think it was like nail polish remover. I don't know. These definitely smell kind of weird as well, but not as weird as the Rouge Edition Velvets. Anywho, Oogie okay, Shmoogie, that is it for beauty stuff. I didn't really have a massive beauty list. I feel like it's really hard to request beauty products because I'm, I wasn't there. Had I been in France, this would just be a French beauty haul, but it's not because I wasn't there. Anyway, next we're gonna talk about tea because I love, love, love the tea store Mariage Frere. It is my absolute favorite tea store in the whole wide world. They are a fabulous tea company in Paris. Their tea is a little expensive, but it is amazing. And I am a tea drinker. I do not do coffee. I did coffee for about three or four months and then it completely destroyed my stomach. So now I'm totally back on tea. I love green tea. I don't drink a ton of black tea. I'm definitely a green tea girl. So my hubby stocked up on a whole bunch of tea for me. So the tea that I drink every morning is Tever Fujiyama, which is green tea Fujiyama. Um, amazing Japanese green tea. I actually had him get me six boxes of this one because I love it. So I will be stocked for six months on Fujiyama. Um, then I had him get me one box of the Sencha Matcha Emerode. So this says it's a lush, mellow green tea. So all of these boxes have sachets of tea and there are 30, um, 30 sachets in each box. Next, I had him get me the Chandranagor Imperial Spices Chai. So this is a chai, a spicy chai tea. Um, I really love chai and I feel like I need to figure out my own chai. I was making my own chai concentrate, but then I saw that Mario's Frere had a chai, so I was pretty excited. Gotta try that one. Uh, next, I have one I'm giving away. I'm giving this to some friends. This is the Earl Grey Imperial because they love their 
Earl Grey in the afternoon. And then finally, I got the Paris breakfast tea. Uh, this is a flamboyant black tea with citrus notes. I don't really do a lot of black tea, but I thought it would be very nice to have a box of black tea at home um, because sometimes people come over and they like black tea. I'm a green tea person, but I think it's nice to have a selection of teas. Um, also, I got a canister of loose tea. This is the Sakura green tea. So Sakura is cherry blossom, Japanese cherry blossom. So let's pop this guy off. It smells great. So you can see it's the green tea and then it also has little cherry blossoms. That smells amazing. And this packaging is so cute. Oh, love it. Um, I also had my hubby get me a loose, like some loose tea of the Fujiyama. Fujiyama is my absolute fave. Well, one of my absolute faves, but I've been really on this Fujiyama kick. So if you get loose tea at Mariage Frere and it's not in a container, they have different size bags like this and you just say how much you want. So this is maybe a hundred gram. I don't know, I don't know. Um, so I got some loose Fujiyama and then I also got some samples. I was so excited, yes, sample tea. So this is a green and this is called Bel Ami. And then this one is also green and this is Buddha Blue. I don't really like Buddha Blue, I've had it before. I'm not a massive fan. Um, I feel like such a tea snob. But anyway, that was what I got from Mariage Frere. I am totally stocked on tea for several months. I love Mariage Frere. If you ever are in Paris, please, please, please go to Mariage Frere. It's amazing. They have different locations all over the city. My personal recommendation would be to go to the one in the Marais. It is on Rue du Bourg, Tiborg. Amazing. And they also have food and you can actually go in and have tea. I've only, I think I've only ever had lunch. Yeah, I had lunch and dessert there once. Oh, we probably had tea, I don't really remember. Fabulous tea, amazing place, love it. Okay, so continuing on with the food, like edible, consumable sort of items. Um, I had him go to the grocery store and get a couple things of fleur de sel. So this is just salt, um, but it's really expensive to buy in the US and it's just, you know, it's like sea salt and it's, it's like chunky. It's not like, you know, out of a salt shaker. So this is the salt we use, we really love it. Um, also, I was super, super excited to see that he brought this back. This we had to get from the south of France. Um, my husband's brother is living in the south of France, so he brought this up for us. This is called Piment de Split. So this is something, this is like a spice. I don't know exactly what um, pepper it comes from, but it is a type of pepper and this is really big in Basque country in the southwest of France. And we lived in the southwest of France for a while before we moved to America and we use this and it's just this local spice. Um, I like to use this if I make quesadillas. I don't make fancy quesadillas. I'll just put like corn tortilla down and then some cheese and then I'll sprinkle a little bit of this. It just has a really unique sort of flavor. It's not really the same as chili or cayenne but it's great. It's piment de split, so I was very, very happy that they brought this back. Other foods, so we have some jelly love hearts. I told my husband I wanted a container of Haribo World Mix gummies, but then he ran out of time, so he got me those instead. That's okay. Um, and then we have two boxes of cookies. So this is, these are sable pure beurre. So this is, these are like butter shortbread cookies. And then this is, so I think these are just more sort of like shortbread cookies, but very, very cute little tins. Okay, done with all of the food and beauty things. Uh, next, we have a pack of coasters. He thought these were quite cute and they are quite cute. So just a pack of French and Paris inspired coasters. Uh, then he also brought me some hand towels. I don't know. Uh, we have a kind of turquoise Vitamix and I also have, I have, what else do we have in turquoise? Oh, a soda stream, the KitchenAid soda stream I have in turquoise. And then I have a KitchenAid hand mixer and then the little like immersion blender in this sort of color. So I think he saw those and thought it would go very nicely with our kitchen and it does. So I believe these are from the company called Hema, which I think is kind of like a dollar store. I can't remember, but they're actually really nice quality. So if they are from the dollar store, I'm totally impressed and I'm totally going to Hema next time I'm in Paris. Okay, also um, at the airport, he picked me up a Madame magazine. This is, uh, this is free. This is provided by Air France. So it's just like, you know, a fashion magazine. 
with tons of Air France ads in it. Um, also, these were my surprises. I was super excited about this. So he got me this bracelet. So it has these like little kind of clear-ish stones um, and it's kind of gold. So this is from the brand And Other Stories. You can see there, And Other Stories. So I believe And Other Stories is part of the H&M brand, I think. I think it's part of H&M. They don't have any stores in the US. I believe they, have, well, maybe they have one in New York. I can't remember, but they have a few, um, a few branches in Europe. Okay, let's see, I also got this scarf. So I think this, I don't know where they got this. I think they got this on Rue Montregoy, which is kind of in the middle of Paris. Oh, I already feel so French right now. Oh la la. Um, but yeah, cute little scarf. It's kind of this turquoise and I believe it has little palm trees printed on it. Yeah, kind of like little palms. That's cute, very cute for uh, for summer in California. And then finally, I'm so excited about this. This was actually something I sent him to get. We have a friend there who started a company and her company only makes skirts. So she has three or four different designs of skirts, but then she has so many different fabrics. Like she has fabrics obviously for the different seasons and they're they're so cute. Some are very like plain and simple. Some have really funky patterns. Um, her company is called Les Petites Jupes de Prune, which means the little skirts of Prune. Her name is Prune. Fabulous lady, love her. So I totally picked up some skirts to have my husband bring back from Prune. So I got four. So the first one, they're all sort of the same style. They just kind of have like an elastic waistband. But the first one, isn't that so cute? It has little like ice cream pops on it. All the skirts have pockets as well. Well, I think this style does. I think this is like the original style she came up with. Um, I haven't actually tried any of the other ones, but I know this one works for me. So it's safe to order them. Um, this one is chambray. So it's kind of this blue chambray and then it has little mint colored dots and also sort of like white little threads on it. But I love chambray and I think chambray is totally, totally perfect for summer. Um, this one is just kind of this rosy corally color, um, like a salmon. This is like a salmon color. Again, the same thing um, with the elastic. And I think all of this style, they have two little buttons on the side and then the pockets. Okay, and my final one is this kind of white one and my light's gonna go totally crazy on this. So this is sort of like a white checker print, like very sheer on the outside. And then there is also a lining. Um, so obviously you're not walking around in the buff. Um, all of her skirts do have this nice lining. Totally, totally cute. I believe this one's all silk. This one, the pink one, I'm not sure what fabric this is. Maybe viscose. The chambray is cotton, cotton chambray. And then I think this one, I think that this one is, wait, maybe this one's viscose. I'm not really sure. Um, but super, super, super excited about these skirts. They're so cute to just wear with like a little tank top tucked in or like a bodysuit and a little denim jacket. I definitely wanna pick up a couple more bodysuits. To wear, um, to wear with these skirts. And also just how cute is this? So when I got these, there I had two little pouches. This one had little lime slices on it. And then this one just was floral. And it says Les Petites Jupes de Prune. And there were like my little skirts. I had two skirts folded up in each little pouch. So very, very, very cute. I'm super excited for Prune's company. She's very sweet and her skirts are beautiful and fun and amazing and totally unique. Um, I'm not sure if she sip, if she ships internationally. I think she does. I think she does. Um, but I think her website is only in French. I'm not super sure, but she does speak English. Anyway, if you're interested, check it out. I will link her website down below. Fabulous skirts, love her, love what she's doing. So yeah, there you go. That is what I got from France. I'm super excited. I'm totally spoiled. I'm totally set for the summer and my skirts and my cool jewels and my scarf, and I'm totally set on tea for like the next at least six months because I already have a stock of Maria Schreier in the kitchen. So I should be stocked on tea for like a year. Anyway, love it. I love Paris and I am really excited to get back. I don't know when I will get back next, but you definitely can be sure that I will do another haul when I come back from Paris myself. But anyway, this is what my hubby got me and I'm so excited and I love it and I love him and life is good. So anyway, I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.